sorry, but 2D Pokemon was the best. It's been a while since we had a Pokemon dedicated video on the channel, and I figured we'd talk about a topic that's been the part of discussion for Pokemon for quite a while. Did 3D graphics ruin Pokemon? It's a question that's been floating around for quite a while, especially when the discussion turns to graphics and how the games haven't been looking so great as of late. And I'm not gonna lie, I have a clear preference when it comes to graphics in Pokemon. I think the title in and of itself should tell you where I stand. Because, let's face it, ever since the franchise has gone into the realm of 3D for the mainline games, the issue with Pokemon have been highlighted several times. Now, to make it clear, one of my mantras on this channel is that I'm a gameplay guy, not a graphics guy. Meaning, how a game looks doesn't affect my overall thoughts of a game so long as it doesn't actively interfere with the gameplay or make my eyes bleed. And as much as some people would like to prefer that I wasn't a human, unfortunately I am, and that doesn't mean I don't have a preference when it comes to graphics. I think for once in my life I'll be concise, and I think part of the reason why I think 2D is better is because if you look at the generations, you can see a lot more difference between the pixel arts. Between gens 1 through 5, even looking at the Pokemon themselves, you can see a noticeable jump in quality of sprite work, with gen 5 ending it with fully animated sprites. And it's not just with the Pokemon sprites, even the locations of Pokemon were greatly improved as well. Take, for example, the trees between Generation 4's Diamond and Pearl and the trees in Gen 4, Soul Silver and Heart Gold. Now, obviously this isn't a fair comparison. If we considered the graphical upgrades between Gens 1 through 5, we'd obviously have to be completely honest that each generation also marked a new console life. And as such, the previous sprite work and graphics couldn't be used. And each generation pretty much got a graphical upgrade all the way up to the 3DS where we finally entered into the 3D realm. And hey, Gen 6 and 7 were still relatively fresh with the 3D graphics of the games, albeit we were starting to get some pushback at the time for how the same models were being used since Gen 6, and that's because Game Freak future-proofed them. What this means is that in order to save the cost of making new models for each and every generation of Pokemon, Game Freak will be able to transplant the models and animations into future titles. This isn't inherently a bad thing. After all, hypothetically, it saves a lot of time and energy, and money, lots of money I suppose, will be put into remaking previous assets into new ones, and allows newer assets to be made, such as making them for new Pokemon. And hey, it's not like Game Freak or the Pokemon Company are the only ones who do this. A lot of RGG Studio games do this all the time with locations and animations. And I'm sure that by the time this video comes out, Tears of the Kingdom will also have a lot of assets, locations, and animations that are from Breath of the Wild. There isn't anything wrong with using old assets or retooling them. But with that, there should be a caveat. And that should be that there should be something added to the older assets. Whether it be graphical fidelity, increased polygon count, or even just adding something new. When Pokemon Sword and Shield came out, tons of people got upset over the fact that Pokemon models were being reused. Like, really upset. Not helped by the fact that the producer of the games had claimed that more time and attention was going to be diverted into the animations. High quality animations. I swear to god, if you put like Distant Kingdom in this video, I'm gonna get upset. Don't do that. We're not going to get into the whole debate because, in all honesty, it really spurned a lot of people away from supporting it because of how insane some people went with their complaints for the first Switch Pokemon game. Back to my point, while you can argue that the newer Pokemon could be stated to be added to the older assets, I don't really feel comfortable with that mindset. Because while you could say that, the older models weren't getting as much attention or love. Newer Pokemon, especially in Scarlet and Violet, do have a fair bit more energy and life to them, Plus, with the added textures to some Pokemon such as Metallic Sheen or Scales do add a little more to the models. Which is good, especially since it was done to some older Pokemon too. God, that vibe of is sexy. But to me, I kind of preferred the sprite work of Pokemon. Not only because that there was a fair bit more personality in the sprite work, and a lot of designs just look better in 2D rather than 3D to me. Hell, there was even a tweet that showcased that some of the designs from Scarlet and Violet that showed these new designs in 2D and... Honestly, I found a lot of them to be looking a lot better than their 3D counterparts. And these are fans who make Pokemon games for the love of the franchise and wanting to make a good game. Just imagine if you can have the Pokemon company actually decide to make a new 2D game with the funding that they have. Holy hell, just imagine it'd be like Octopath Traveler with Pokemon. 
Granted, that's a pipe dream, because apparently, once you go 3D, you can never go 2D ever again. Some sort of unwritten rule of game design. Kinda like the Ten Commandments, but for geeks and nerds. I think what makes the 3 generation not appeal to me as much is that a lot of the time, Pokemon have a tendency to just not only repeat its assets and such, but also repeats a lot of story beats and tropes. I know we're getting off topic of, like, you know, actual graphics, but this is kind of important because when the jump to 3D continued with such little differences with the graphics, and to be honest, the gameplay as well, these issues became more prominent, and a lot of people kept pointing them out. It's kind of why when we got Pokemon Legends Arceus, a lot of people were looked past the graphical issues of the game, since it managed to really shake up the formula for what a Pokemon game could be. Not only that, but the Pokemon themselves felt a lot more natural to the world, and you could even interact with them outside of battle, as they could be struck with items or attack you back. That level of interaction is something that 3D Pokemon clearly has an advantage over the 2D games with. It's just a shame that when Scarlet and Violet came out, a good chunk of that interactivity was lost. Getting back to the sprites, while a lot of them were just static images on the screen, most of the Pokemon had dynamic poses and looked like they were about to jump out at you, which was probably done to make up for the lack of any real sprite animation throughout the battle. What helped was that the animations for Pokemon attacks were quick and snappy. I know a lot of people like to rag on Gen 4 for the slow HP bars, Oh my god! But that was really mostly just for one generation, and in Gen 5, that issue was no more. My point is that you weren't always looking at a static image, and if you were, it wasn't for too long. When Black and White came around, the sprites were more expressive than ever, and most of them were just jumping and hopping around frantically or had unique idle animations, really added to the personality of the Pokémon. Then when we got to X and Y, a lot of the Pokemon's idle animations were honestly kind of boring, and it was a trend that keeps happening to this day. Granted, in Scarlet and Violet, with the Pokemon appearing on the actual overworld and be more interactable to some degree, although not as much as Legend Arceus, it was a fun little aspect to it and helps flesh out the Pokemon. And no, not in the Vaporeon kind of way, you sicko! But to me, I always prefer the more colorful and honestly more dynamic looking sprite work. The idle animation of the Pokemon in the 3D games is what you see for the majority of the time in the battle. And frankly, the majority of them are incredibly boring. Some Pokemon barely move at all in their idle animations, and to me, it's a completely valid criticism to say they should have more personality in their movements. Take a look at Scorbunny's idle animation. Although, I suppose idle isn't really the right word for it. What with him always hopping around, you can see the action of the little guys with those steps. Granted, the attack animation isn't great, but that's beside the point. If every Pokemon had a similar idle animation that expressed their personality, that'd be awesome. Hell, look at Quavavel in comparison to Cubchoo. He's just... standing there. <clears throat> He's just... standing there. I realize that Cubchoo's probably not the best example. However, you compare that idle animation to its sprite work in Gen 5, it's got this curious pose to it, which makes it look anxious. It was a cute little pose, too, that worked with the Pokémon's design. Now, of course, I'm sure a lot of people are going to point out that I'm cherry-picking here, and yeah, you're not wrong. But I'm also expressing that while the newer generation Pokémon are getting much better treatment, the older ones really aren't. Then again, this is a video where I'm expressing an opinion and expecting people to give their own opinions after it. Thus is the beast of the internet. My point is, from my point of view, I prefer the 2D games over 3D because a lot of the issues that Pokemon has aren't as prominent in 2D as they are in 3D. That isn't to say that 3D isn't catching up. As I've already shown, a good number of Pokemon are already showing the same evolution, so to speak, with the art style incorporating that into the Pokemon themselves. It just really feels like Pokemon really hasn't gone out of that funk yet. And I think those future-proof models aren't really doing them any favors in that regard. And don't get me started on the backgrounds again, I'm still not over this damn tree. I think 2D works more because it allows a person's imagination to really take flight. Like, yeah, the battles were extremely simple, what with the backgrounds and attacks not being all that detailed, even in later generations. But it is possible. Fans of the games are able to make some really amazing battle backgrounds and animations for attacks, so it's not like it's impossible for this to be a thing in official games, especially with 2D art style. But battle animations? Developers at the time had to utilize screen shaking, jumps, and little animations to convey the complexity of the Pokemon games, and this actually worked. Players had to imagine the little details as they played the game, which helped a lot of people form attachment to these titles regardless of their age. Never underestimate the power of imagination, my friends. 
I suspect it's why a lot of people who are in their late 20s and even early 30s and 40s are still in the Pokemon. Collecting the plushies, the cards, the games. I don't have a problem, you have a problem! Get off my case, mom! I'm not saying that the current games don't have that same kind of magic, but with 3D, there's much less left up to the imagination. But in return, we get some interesting animations. But we'll also ruin said animations in the next game! Like, for what reason did you have to take out that specialized animation? I don't see why we couldn't have specialized camera angles for this kind of move. I'd like to point out that this video is mostly talking about graphics and such, and not so much gameplay or story, even though I did touch on that. I find graphics to be the most subjective stance you can take when it comes to gaming, since everyone's gonna have a different standard, and there are those who are gonna think that 3D is an objective standard when I disagree with that notion. To me, both 3D and 2D Pokemon each have their strengths and weaknesses, and considering that there's quite a healthy fan game community for Pokemon games out there, I'm honestly kinda shocked that there still be a means of scratching this itch from mine to get more 2D Pokemon. I understand my title is a bit more on the provocative side, but that's to be expected when you consider that one, I'm a YouTuber and getting people to click on my videos is how I refrain from starving, and two, this is a hot button topic on the internet when it comes to Pokemon for some reason. Gotta get them clicks somehow. But here's where I turn to you guys. What are your thoughts when it comes to this debate? Do you think that 2D Pokemon is better, or do you think that 3D is better? Let me know in the comments down below. All I ask is you just try to be civil and not put down other people's opinions on the matter. And put down the pitchforks, please. I'm just a YouTuber. I'm Manga Common, and thanks for watching.